Hello, my name is Abdul Halabia. I am the VP of Product and User Experience at Interactive, a ServiceNow partner. I would like to show you in this quick video how to transform KB articles like the one I'm looking at from being mundane and really not engaging and not interesting at all into something much more engaging that the employees will really benefit from. So the very first thing, I'm going to go ahead and copy this text, which will be used as the basic text for us. And you can see that this is about leave of absence, knowledge content. And now we're going to go to the ServiceNow platform and show you how in MAs we can start really transforming this article. So as you can see here, I'm in the ServiceNow platform and I have this particular knowledge base article. And when I load it up, uh, Amaze is integrated in such a way that it will take over this editor area and it will offer you the choice to edit this article in Amaze. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Once I do that, it actually starts a new window and um, it will load the Amaze article, uh, the edit Amaze editor. Once I'm in Amaze, now you can see that, you know, there's, it's a black canvas, it's a brand new, uh, article. There are two ways of going about building articles in a maze. You can, one way is by simply dragging, dropping a bunch of components or using pre-made templates that are part of the system already. And there are a lot of templates that you can choose from, whether they are, you know, topic based or how to or FAQs and so on. Uh, for the sake of this example here, I'm going to use actually a, the components route. But before I do that, let me first bring the text that we grabbed from that Word document. So now I copied this into the scratch pad. So now this text is available to me that I can start moving around as I'm constructing this article in MAs. So let's go to the components and let's kind of think about, you know, what the structure of that article is. It looks like we're going to have a header. Uh, so I'm going to grab some, you know, we're going to make it very, uh, visually rich. So we're going to grab a, some, some uh, text basically and imagery. So I'm going to grab this one right here. It looks funny. Where I can imagine that I can describe the, the leave of absence and some image about talks about leave of absence. And then mm, underneath it, I will have the different types of leaves that we, that we're going to, that this company is offering. So, those are the two main blocks that I want to use in this article. So I'm going to start basically now customizing those to what, what this article we, we need to, we need to, the, the article we need to construct. So the very first thing, I'm going to grab this text, which is the introductory text, and I'll come here and then I will basically simply paste it. And uh, we're going to call this document, we're going to call it a leave of absence. leave of absence, okay? And the imagery, obviously, this is not a very relevant imagery. So what we can do, we can click on the image and we can say manage source image. These are some images that I thought would be more relevant to the type of topic that we are doing. And I already added them to a maze. Once you do that, then they're available to everybody. So let's say this is the header imagery that I wanna add. And uh, now you can see that this is the level, the imagery that I wanted to see here. And uh, then likewise, I will do the same thing for, for, the, for the, uh, the cards underneath the different types of leaves. So I'll go back to my scratch pad and I will grab this text right here. Okay. And uh, we'll copy it and we'll paste it right here. And we want to call this uh, medical leave short term medical leave short term okay disability all right so now i have <clears throat> excuse me my first uh, type of leave and i can likewise i can change the imagery so I can go here and say, okay, maybe this one's short term is more relevant to us. And uh, now I'm seeing 
this, this, uh, this card right here. Uh, I can start adding some visual interest to this since this is, I'm going to make it a header. There's a lot of black in here. Maybe what I can do is I can tie everything by having a, a black background. It will look like the image is part of that header all in one piece. So what I can do, I can come here and uh, basically now I can control, um, I can control what I want to see in the different, in the different, uh, so here I can come in and change the background. Say so let's go to black and um, say okay. So this looks like it now it ties it nicely together. And obviously the text uh, is not going to read well on the black background. I can probably be, you know, for if I'm with company X, I'll go and find out what the color brand, the branding colors for that company, and I'll use those to enforce the brand. Uh, let's assume it's some sort of, uh, you know, kind of, you know, light color, maybe like this. So let's assume what, that's what the brand uh, guidelines call for. And I can do the same thing here. So I can just do that. Okay. And obviously here, the text, we want to have it as a light background, right? So we'll go and select, select something along the, this one right here. And now I got my header. It looks fairly nice, kind of uh, it really distinguishes from this one. And this one is, you know, what the, the one type of disability is. I can go back to my scratch pad and find out, okay, how many of those do I need? So we did the first one, now then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. So now what I can do, I can come here and say, okay, this is this is this this type of uh, card for the different types of lead. And now I can copy it. And once I select the copy icon here, you can see that I made another copy. So this is now two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now you can see that I have copied it seven times, okay? Just like that, very easily, I can I can uh, manipulate what, what I want to see here. Obviously now, there are different types of leads. So now my exercise becomes, okay, let me pick the right graphic. Actually, let's first figure out the text. So the next one is family lead. So I'm gonna grab this text right here. I'll copy it and I'll come and I paste it. And I can copy the next one. And I'll come here and I'll paste it. Okay. So now that I've copied those two things, I can now change the graphic. Okay. So this is, let's say this is the family leave. Okay. That's the family leave. Maybe that's a more appropriate image. Okay, so now you can see that I changed that, and this one here, maybe we will do the disability. Okay, and add an image. All right, and now I can change the text of the headers of those areas. So I'm going to call this family. Oops. Family lead. Actually, family and medical lead. Okay, and the next one is let's assume this is the long term disability. Okay. So now, very quickly. I basically was able to generate this article that really clarifies the different types of leave of absence that this company offers. I can very easily also see what it looks like in the tablet view, and I can also see it in the phone view, okay? And I can actually not only just see it in terms of from a design perspective, I can see exactly what the, what other people are gonna what, what my employee is gonna look, see in their view, and it looks something like this. Okay, 
So I hope by you know by show, by looking at this video, you're able to glean how easy and quick it is to really move from an article that looks like this into an article that looks like this, that is more engaging, more visually appealing, and really kind of gets you the answer and not and and really affords the readability and quick scannability and much better content in a consumption experience. Thank you, and we look forward to showing you additional capabilities of amazing future videos.